so children now is the exercise time so we we are in the exercise part of lesson 13 air and water first exercise exercise a is answer the following questions okay answer the following questions now read the first question children the first question yes why do people who climb high mountains carry oxygen cylinders why people carry oxygen cylinders when they climb mountains yes the uh, to breathe isn't it they carry oxygen cylinders mountainous carry oxygen cylinders in order to breathe or the, the they won't get oxygen as we go high the level of oxygen decreases and we go deep inside the uh, here earth here down into the sea we say there also oxygen level is very less so uh, people those who dive into the sea they carry oxygen cylinders those who go to the space also they carry oxygen cylinders to breathe okay so the answer is the level of oxygen decreases as we go higher when we go higher and higher the level of oxygen decreases so people carry oxygen cylinders while climbing mountains so that they can breathe understood children yes so why do people who climb high mountains carry oxygen cylinders the level of oxygen decreases as we go higher full stop so people carry oxygen cylinders while climbing mountains so that they can breathe full stop now coming to the second question what is the second question children yes come on read yes how atmosphere protects life so children we learned how atmosphere protects our life huh? it contains several gases and main gas oxygen we need to uh, breathe then uh, carbon dioxide plants need it then for making food they use carbon dioxide then we inhale oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide isn't it we give out, we give out carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide is used by plants to make food and they give us oxygen to breathe so that is the process going on then there are other gases also in the atmosphere then how the atmosphere is protecting us ozone layer is protecting us from the harmful rays of the sun okay so let's read the answer atmosphere protects life in many ways full stop it provides oxygen to help all the living beings and carbon dioxide for the plants to breathe full stop it also absorbs heat from the sun during the day to prevent overheating and retains the same heat during the nights to avoid freezing it absorbs heat from the sun and it retains the same heat during the uh, night also it absorbs heat during the daytime uh, and it retains the same level during the night to avoid freezing otherwise night it becomes so cool then also the ozone layer of the atmosphere absorbs uv rays ultraviolet rays we said so harmful rays huh? which are very harmful so how atmosphere protects life atmosphere protects life in many ways it provides oxygen to help all the living beings and carbon dioxide for the plants to breathe plants need carbon dioxide to breathe we inhale oxygen we give out carbon dioxide but plants they take carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen okay it also absorbs heat from the sun atmosphere it absorbs the heat from the sun during the daytime isn't it to prevent overheating during the daytime and retains the same heat during the nights to avoid freezing to avoid more cool cold isn't it also the ozone layer of the atmosphere absorbs uv rays which are very harmful otherwise uv rays will come to the earth and what will happen uh, it burns our skin we get skin cancer and skin problems and eye problems isn't it so ozone layer is present in the atmosphere uh, it protects us from the uv rays reaching the earth so understood so why do people who climb high mountains carry oxygen cylinders 
the level of oxygen decreases as we go higher so people carry oxygen cylinders while climbing mountains so that they can breathe full stop second how atmosphere protects uh, life Pro atmosphere protects life in many ways it provides oxygen to help all the living beings and carbon dioxide for the plants to breathe. It also absorbs heat from the sun during the day to prevent overheating and retains the same heat during the night to avoid freezing. Full stop. Also, comma, the ozone layer of the atmosphere absorbs UV rays which are very harmful. Full stop. So children, our next question in the exercise answer the following question is third question. Yes, children read the third question. What is the third question? Yes, what is distillation? So we learned about distillation, isn't it? The process of removing the impurities from the water. Yes. So what is distillation? The process of obtaining pure water from impure water through boiling is known as distillation. So what is distillation? The process of obtaining to get the pure water from the impure water through boiling is known as distillation. We boil the water then we separate the pure and impure water. Okay, fourth question. Do an experiment to prove properties of air. So we learned about different properties of air. We learned that air occupies space or air is need for burning and air exerts pressure we know, air spreads in all direction we know, then air has weight. These are all the properties of air. So you have to write an experiment to prove a property. So experiment. Light can uh, light and incest stick, uh, a substance that provides a sm sweet smell, uh, that is incense stick like agabati. Light and incense stick and place it in a corner of the room. Anywhere in the corner you can keep it, light and keep. Leave the stick for few minutes, leave it. The aroma fills the entire house, that sweet smell, that aroma, sweet smell, good smell. It spreads the entire house in no time, within seconds it, the smell spreads. This thus explains that air moves in all directions. So do an experiment to prove properties of air. Experiment is light and insert stick and place it in a corner of the room. Leave the stick for few minutes. Full we'll stop. The aroma fills. Aroma. A-R-O-M-A. The sweet smell. Okay. The aroma fills the entire house in no time. Full we'll stop. This comma. Thus explains that air moves in all directions. Full we'll stop. Now coming to the last question, the fifth question, what are the uses of carbon dioxide? So what are the uses of carbon dioxide children? Yes, we use it in uh, soft drinks, then solid carbon dioxide we use it as a freezing agent, then carbon dioxide is used by plants for making food. These are the main uses of carbon dioxide, isn't it? Let's see, answer. Carbon dioxide is the main component used by plants during the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process used by plants to make food. So to make food, plants need carbon dioxide. It is also used in the aerated drinks, means soft drinks that we consume. Full stop. The solid form of carbon dioxide is used as freezing agent. Solid form of carbon dioxide is called dry ice. It is used for freezing agent. So what are the uses of carbon dioxide children? Yes, carbon dioxide is the main component used by plants during the process of photosynthesis. Full stop. It is also used in the aerated drinks that we consume. Full stop. The solid form of carbon dioxide is used as a freezing agent. So what is distillation? The process of obtaining pure water from impure water through boiling is known as distillation. Coming to the next question, fourth question, do an experiment to prove properties of air. So experiment is light an insert stick and place it in a corner of the room. Full stop. Leave the stick for a few minutes. 
full stop the aroma the sweet smell fills the entire house in no time full stop this comma thus explains that air moves in all directions full stop now last question is what are the uses of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is the main component used by plants during the process of photosynthesis full stop it is also used in the aerated drinks that we consume full stop the solid form of carbon dioxide is used as freezing agent yes children so our next exercise exercise b is fill up the following blanks in your textbook it has written fill up the following blanks using the clue kit there is a clue kit given after the questions below in a, bra in a box okay there are how many words one two three four five six words are given in the clue kit for the six questions you have to select the correct word and you have to fill up okay so first fill up what is the first fill in the blanks read children yes the layer of gases that surrounds the earth what is it called the layer of gases the layer of air around the earth is called yes it is atmosphere isn't it layer of gases around the earth is atmosphere so write atmosphere here atmosphere a t m o s p h e r e atmosphere second the gas that helps in burning which gas helps in burning see the clue kit and answer yes children yes which gas it is yes oxygen isn't it so oxygen o x y g e n oxygen then third coming to the third fill up the blanks the layer in the atmosphere where jet airplanes fly we have learned about five different layers of atmosphere in this layers one layer where we can see the airplanes fly because clouds are very rare in that layer so airplanes fly which it is which layer it is it is the stratosphere okay children stratosphere is the layer where we can see the planes stratosphere s t r a t stratosphere s t r a t o s p h e r e fourth one the layer in the atmosphere in which weather changes take place which is the layer of the atmosphere where we can see the weather change in that layer we are living or just on the surface of the earth it is which layer it is it is troposphere isn't it so troposphere t r o p o sphere s p h e r e troposphere this troposphere now the amount of water vapor in air what is it it called you know at the amount of water vapor in air is called nothing but humidity h u m i d i t y humidity is known as the presence of water vapor in the air or how much water vapor is present in the air that is called humidity if water vapor is more in the air then high, humidity will be higher if then it cause high temperature we sweat okay so humidity means the amount of water vapor in the air amount of water vapor in the air is nothing but humidity h u m i d i t y humidity then sits the a process that removes soluble impurities from water it is known as distillation yes distillation this d i s t i l l a t i o n distillation the process of removing removes the process that removes soluble impurities from water is distillation so fill in the blanks first one the layer of gases that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere then the gas that helps in burning is oxygen then the layer in the atmosphere where jet planes airplanes fly is stratosphere then the layer in the atmosphere in which weather changes takes place is troposphere then the fifth question the amount of water vapor in the air is humidity humidity means the amount how much water vapor is in the air 
since the last question a process that removes soluble impurities from water is distillation okay children children next is can you name the picture exercise c so see the images children some images are given here you have to see the image and you have to tell the name of the each image the first image shows what the first image represents yes the level of gases in the atmosphere the amount of gases present in the atmosphere they have shown in the picture so it is the picture of what it is the picture of the atmosphere the atmosphere the first one is nothing but atmosphere the atmosphere okay that is the first image the image shown here is yes the atmosphere we can see that uh, have marked the amount of gases in the atmosphere now second see the second image children what can you see here you can see a straight a stick and uh, ba balanced with two balloons two inflated balloons someone is holding it using a thread you we do this experiment to show that air has weight isn't it so that picture represents what it yes the ba balancing weight of air we say so balancing weight of air balancing weight of air we can write okay or air has weight hmm? it shows the picture shows air has weight or balancing weight of air now coming to the third image see the third image children what can you see here you can see two uh, uh, tumblers or jars we can see and some one jar particles are suspended the other jar the particles uh, settle down isn't it so what shows that image hmm? what is the image showing it is nothing but removing insoluble impurities called sedimentation okay removing insoluble impurities sedimentation removing insoluble impurities insoluble insoluble impurities impurities okay it is removing insoluble impurities removing insoluble impurities is nothing but sedimentation sedi Sedimentation. That impurities settle down is nothing but sediments. So this removing uh, insoluble impurities means sedimentation. That is shown in the third image. The first image is the atmosphere. We can see the amount of gases ma marked in percentage. The that is the atmosphere. Second, we can see two balloons hold in a stick. Uh, someone holding isn't it it shows air has weight or balancing weight of air the third image is uh, two jars are there in one jar particles are there the other jar particles get settled down it is nothing but removing insoluble impurities sedimentation okay children children now uh, our next exercise exercise d exercise d write yes or no for the following statements given a, a few statements read the statement check whether the given statement is correct or not if the statement is correct write s yes in the brackets given near to the statement if it is wrong just write no okay now read the statement which is the first statement yes children come on first one air exerts pressure in all directions do air exerts pressure it's a one of the property of air air exerts pressure so the answer is yes the statement is correct so the answer is yes y e s second water is in very important to all living things water is very important to all living things yes the statement is correct y e s now yes children so the third one Distillation is used to remove soluble purities in water. What is distillation? Distillation is a process to remove soluble impurities from water. It has written purities. So the statement given is wrong. So you have to write no. 
and no no distillation is the process of removing soluble impurities not purities purities means what is pure only right yes next fourth one air occupies space and has weight these are the properties of air isn't it air occupies space and has weight so the given statement is right so the answer is yes y e s yes now the last statement about 70 percentage of the human body is water is it true is the statement is correct yes 70 percentage of human body is water so the answer is yes so children write yes or no for the following statements first one air exerts pressure in all direction yes second water is very important to all living things yes distillation third one distillation is used to remove soluble purities in water the statement is wrong so answer is no fourth one air occupies space and has weight yes last one about 70 percentage of the human body is water yes understood okay children yes children our next exercise exercise e write about availability of water on the earth using the following pie diagram so here uh, there is a diagram given children you can see three diagrams it is called a pie diagram in a round shape isn't it circular shape some diagrams are given by seeing that you have to write the availability of water on the earth so the diagram shows actually the world's water exists naturally in different forms and locations the water exists here in the earth or in the world uh, it is in different forms some like seas rivers lakes oceans isn't it and in different locations different areas we can see saline water means the water that has salt content means sea water we can say it is 97 percentage whereas fresh water fresh water available is only three percentage the percentage of available ground water water is available in the underground it is 30 percent 30 point one percentage surface water water on the surface means like lakes and surface water in lakes is 87 percentage and the percentage of river water water in the river is two percentage thus all living beings depends on three percentage of fresh water fresh water is only three percentage isn't it so what this diagram shows the amount of water available in all the uh, different uh, on all the different forms of forms of water and in locations okay so the world's water exists naturally in different forms and locations saline water is 97 percentage that percentage they have marked in the diagram given isn't it whereas fresh water available is 3 percentage the percentage of available groundwater is 30.1 percentage surface water in lakes is 87 percentage and the percentage of river water is 2 percentage thus all living beings depends on 3 percentage of fresh water we all depends on fresh water okay children yes the next is the project work okay so children let's see what is the project work in the uh, that is given in your textbook the project work look at the bar diagram given below there is a bar diagram given the diagram name is bar diagram you can see some bars over there prepare a report on the access to clean water with the information given here under people in developing world with access to clean water so uh, the picture shows the uh, uh, in developing world hmm? the clean water how much clean water is available okay so in all the years from 1970 they started in five years in each five years what is happening to the uh, avail access to the clean water for the clean water availability how it is 1970 it was up to 40 then uh, it uh, again increased after seven, five years to um, 50 then again to 60 after five years at last up to 2000 uh, it has gone up to 80 level means 
the our access to clean water to get a clean water availability is increasing once in five years we can say isn't it 70 75 80 1985 1995 2000 so once in every five years we can see the access to clean water in all the developing countries is getting increasing India our country it is also a developing country uh? so the access to clean water is increasing every year once in five years we can say not every year once in five years they have shown that diagram up to 2000 okay children now it is the life skills okay life skills the skill that you have learned after learn uh, after getting information from this lesson after learning the topic what the life skill you have learned okay Plastic pollution involves the accumulation of plastic products in the environment that adversely affects wildlife, wildlife habitat or humans. Plastic pollution, you know pollution is there everywhere huh? because of human activities. We are throwing wastes here and there and we are dumping plastics all over the roadside here and there. So what is happening actually because of this pollution, because of this plastic products, it is settled down here and there. Huh? When we uh, throw this plastic items here and there, it will be there as it is and uh, it badly affects the wildlife, hmm? the, uh, the animal life then uh, their habitat the habitat is the surroundings the environment which we live uh, their habitat is, is getting affected and human beings we also many types and forms of plastic pollution etc there are different types of pollution plastic pollution and plastic pollution can adversely affect land it is affecting land very badly waterways and oceans it affects water oceans then plastic reduction of efforts have occurred in some areas in attempts to reduce plastic consumption some areas of our country in some places they have taken steps to reduce this plastic usages so that people won't use plastics nowadays everywhere in some shops and all they are not giving plastic bags paper bags they have given or bags made of some uh, uh, jute uh, etc isn't it they are not using plastic bags somewhere we have some shops center they have written uh, plastic ba bags are avoided so in some areas they are taking steps to avoid using this plastic items uh, so that uh, the plastic the pollution get reduced okay and promote plastic recycling means to uh, we will uh, recycling means to we re recycle the waste we say recycle the waste means we instead of throwing it wasting it we use it for some other different purposes okay uh, the prominence of plastic pollution is the importance of this plastic pollution is uh, connected or correlated with plastics being inexpensive and durable why uh, people are using this plastic uh, more because uh, it is uh, not expensive not costly and it is uh, durable means it is uh, able to withstand with long days or long time we can use that plastic uh, covers and all uh, so because of that this is not costly and can use for a long time that is the reason why the people are using more plastics and or we can say plastic consumption is more so uh, which lends to high levels of plastic use by humans so we have to reduce the use of plastics because it is creating pollution in the uh, atmosphere uh, it is affecting our life it is affecting the wildlife it is affecting the water affecting the soil etc everywhere because of this pollution uh, we we people we are facing many problems that we are not knowing some problems actually so as children now itself you should tell your parents to your elders whoever using the plastic things we should avoid using plastic it is danger to the land or it is not good for the uh, future we say okay so plastic consumption should get reduced okay to reduce the pollution Okay, children, thank you.